Hong Sang-soo has just finished his 23rd feature film, The Woman Who Ran. It has won the Silver Bear for Best Director at the 70th Berlin International Film Festival. In 2017 alone, he made and released three films, On the Beach Night Alone, The Day After, and Claire's Camera. And in 2018, he made and released two films, Hotel by the River and Grass. To call Hong Sang-soo prolific would be a serious understatement. We haven't seen this much productivity from a director since Raina Warner Fassbender, who in three years made 18 films. You may be asking, how is this possible? How does Hong Sang-soo keep producing complex, playful, and clever, tintillating love stories? Well, I have my own company. I, <laughs> I have uh, two uh, people I work with. And, uh, my company office is in, in the university building. I teach, so I don't have to pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my crew these days are one, photo, uh, one cinematographer and one assistant for the cinematographer and one uh, recordist. That's the, uh, the, the trees are uh, technical st uh, step, and I have these two people I work with. Sometimes when I need, I ask for my students to join me when I have a, when I need uh, more assistance. So basically, uh, including myself, uh, one, two, three, four, about seven or eight sometimes. So. And I give to these actors and actresses a uh, very uh, small amount of money. Uh, my justification is uh, I, I don't make a feeling to make money. <laughs> and so, and my production period is usually less than three weeks. And even within three weeks, they come to location maybe, at most seven times, sometimes three times, four times. So, so they accept that small amount of money as a compensation. So that's how I make a movie with a very, very uh, low budget. I always wanted to make uh, more films from the very beginning. <laughs> so I have tried to um, develop a way that I can make film with a minimum what facility or whatever. <laughs> so now nowadays uh, my film costs uh, less than uh, 50,000 pure uh, production and post-production costs. But I have to pay for the other things later on, uh, like a salary for these two people, and I that uh, it becomes like uh, less than 100,000 per film. And I'm fortunate enough uh, that my films uh, recoup every time. So in the end, I can make film whenever I want. Nowadays. So to to um, to get a little bit into the the, the question of, of how you you shoot, you talked a bit about this yesterday. Um, it's I, I mean it's it's a really radical and kind of experimental way of working um, to really have not much of a starting point other than um, some actors and locations, um, but. I'm j and and we should say in case people here don't know that you you don't have a script before you start shooting and the script is written as you proceed. In fact, you write every morning and then you shoot later that day what you have written. Um, uh, but you know, I think I'm wondering what happens in the lead up to the shoot. Like, what is the preparation for you before you get to that point? Before day one, well, you know, what what is what is that process like for you? Um. I usually start preparation uh, one month prior to the, uh, the first day of shooting. 
first thing I do is uh, either finding a location or finding uh, actors. Uh, for the location, I just think about places I heard or the places I've been to. And some places just click. And I go there and look around places, neighbors. If I like it, then I go deeper. You know, I go to some restaurant there or a cafe or a playground. And if I need to get a contract before, then I ask the owner. I explain to him the way how, how, I, how I make films. And if he agrees or she agrees with me on this uh, the way of working, I tell him that uh, maybe uh, I will come to your place uh, two or three times. I'm not sure, but maybe two or three times within this three weeks period of time. And then I will let you know at least one or two days before. So, and uh, I ask him when is the most convenient time for him to, for us to go in and shoot. And so we make a small contract with him. That way I have a few places, main places. And for the actors, I usually work with the actors I have worked with before. Sometimes I work with the newcomer. And I, I ask them, the, I wish you in this period, can you be free, uh, totally free? Okay. If they say yes, and then I just... So how, how I do is... Uh, Maybe two times or three times I meet them uh, and we can drink or we can have a dinner together. We chat, just, uh, we talk about all kinds of things, uh, what they do, you know, how, how they are you know, doing. That's all. Because I don't know what I will shoot, so we don't really, we really talk about uh, films. And then about one week ago, one week before the shooting, I kind of con try to concentrate. <laughs> so whatever I read these days, those days, uh, uh, whatever I see, whatever I hear, it's kind of a I test them. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? <laughs> I test this sentence, I test that remarks, I test that alleys, I test all the pictures I saw. And ask all these elements to can can you be in the film? Can you be in the film like that? About one week, sometimes two weeks. And sometimes I come up with some something, so I jot down. But it is not uh, comprehensive or anything like that. It's uh, just uh, fragments, and I don't push myself to make some you know. I don't push myself to come up with an idea of them. Mm -hmm. I just let these fragments to be here, around somewhere. And then, uh, first day of shooting, uh, one day before the first day of shooting, I just make up my mind, I will go to this restaurant. So tell the owner that I will be there. And uh, uh, I kind of know which actors will be more important by that time, so I let them know you will be there tomorrow. But I will let you know that uh, by 7 or 8 a.m. I will let you know you will be in the film. You will be needed on the location or not. So I start writing um, at 4 a.m usually. It takes me about four hours, sometimes longer. So in the middle of uh, writing, I kind of know, you know which one will be, in the, uh, will be needed. So I let them know. I call assistant and uh, tell her, tell him that uh, she will be, they will be needed. And before that, I, I, uh, I check with their own clothes and then they send me these photographs of their own clothes. 
I kind of give them the guideline and they get shoot their, their own clothes and send me to email. And I check the photos and then we have a one day of test shooting, maybe one week before. So I let them bring those uh, clothes I pick and then I see the clothes on them. And I choose the clothes. So it's so about uh, 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. I finished writing. So uh, usually three scenes or four scenes, something like that. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know how I decide on how many scenes I uh, write. Just it's kind of one breath, as you know, it's just hold and finish it. And, and there is, of course, I have to check the practical uh, things too while I'm writing because I cannot write something that I cannot shoot that day. So, so I have this limitation, but it's okay with me. Very, very rarely I come up with something and maybe even two weeks before. Maybe I will need a dog who does something, maybe I will need it, and then you know, something like that happens, then, then I prepare for the dog. But 99% of things, <coughs> almost 100% will be prepared uh, within one, two hours before start shooting. So I start shooting. So I give them, the actors uh, start memorizing. Is it too long? <laughs> please, please continue. Oh. Yes, I, they start memorizing for all the first scene and takes. I give them uh, at most one hour, it's usually 40, 40 some minutes. And then when they memorize like 80 percent, I let them gather together and then I, I, I let them play and I see and hear what they say, how they interpret it. Usually they are always amazingly good, strangely. So only when they misinterpreted my intention, then, then I tell them maybe that's not the way to go, things like that. But I kept the direction to minimal level. And then when they memorize like 90 uh, percent, they say always I need more time. <laughs> but I feel like they memorize like 90 percent, then I go to the first take. You know what take means, you know, right? So I go to first take. And so first take can be used as a take or I also use them First take as a kind of a serious rehearsal with the camera movements. So we monitor together with the actors. And that's when you figure out the camera movements of the scenes, usually yeah, in that the, first take? Yeah, first take. Just before first take, I, I talked with the cameraman when I want to pan, when I want to zoom, kind of speed I want, things like that. So I, if she's the cameraman, I I always uh, sit like here, and when I need the zoom in, I tap here and he starts zooming in. And so we have a sign here. This is <laughs> left side, right side. The bag is like uh, coming back to the. <laughs> <shine>. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, um, it's not that difficult because I. He's just trimming it. And then they put together, and that's the end of <laughs> <laughs> It's very easy. <laughs> so, how long does editing typically take for you? Like, uh, well, real editing takes usually one day. <laughs> <laughs> but but to, to make sure, because I'm so involved with it, I want to have some distance. To, so, I have a, a one week doing nothing and then come back and see it again and then <laughs> finish it. Wow. Um. 
I think it's my temperament mm -hmm. that decide this kind of uh, this way of working. So it's just but for filmmaking, this kind of temperament doesn't doesn't seem to be very suitable because uh, filmmaking requires uh, lots of preparation and usually costs very high the production costs. So. But my temperament is important, <laughs> I guess. So I try to. You know, I write in chronological order. That's absolutely absolutely necessary <laughs> for me. <laughs> I, guess, uh, I don't have a outline. So I only write based on the what I wrote or I shot yesterday or the other day. So I need to shoot everything in chronological order. About the writer's blog, mm, I heard about them. But, uh, <laughs> Because I never give me uh, myself uh, that chance to experience it because uh, I always have these people waiting for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have to write. So <laughs> you, you, then you end up writing something. Um, so are you satisfied after like writing a scene? You know, I did my best. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. It's a very interesting process that I think um, Hong's been doing since, since Oki's movie, whereby there's no script to the film to begin with, and that each day's, uh, each day's scenes and dialogue are written at the very, uh, in the morning, essentially. And she gets the sheets, you know, literally minutes before the scenes have to be played, which gave me a lot of respect for what she does and for basically all the actors in, in Hong's films. Because it's, it's, not, it's not an easy thing. And uh, I start with a... Uh, uh, about 20 pages of treatment, and then I cast uh, actor and actress, and I interview them a lot, and then I uh, shoot in in order. So every morning I I write uh, uh, the day shooting. Uh, we, it usually is so two or three scenes every day I shoot. Um, so I in the morning I write them. So at that moment of writing, I decide everything. So I try to postpone as much as I can before deciding what dialogue, what action they are going to do. So even the dialogues I have with the actors before the shooting day can come into that dialogue, things like that. Do you understand? Do you ever get any resistance from the actors to work that way? I think in the in the beginning mm -hmm. they kind of you know scared because I don't give them the full script. Yeah. But uh, after two or three times of uh, shooting, they kind of enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And what does Hong Sang Soo think about his working style? I don't want to do something with uh, lots of preparation. I think it's kind of crazy to do that. I mean, this way of working. You've, you've done it for like what? Just like s eight or nine films now, something like that. Um, from my fourth picture, I uh, started writing the script in the morning. Okay. Um, I cannot really tell you why. I just I think it's my temperament. I want that kind of pressure, so I... On yourself or on, you know, on everyone else, too? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what does the cinematographer think about his process? ...called commercial films, and um, so this was a very different type of shooting. It's actually completely, it's a completely different method. I don't think I can even say it's a completely different method. I think it would be more accurate to say maybe it's even reverse of what the typical process is. And uh, typical films, um, they take a very long time to prepare. You know, Pre-production lasts sometimes up to three months. But in the case of working on, on Dr. Hong's films, we don't know what we're going to do one day before the shooting even. <laughs>
그래서 처음에는 정말 그 어, 이래도 되는 거야 라는 굉장히 그 습관적으로 겁이 있었지만 같이 함께 이제 작업을 하면서 그런 작업 방법에 대해서 이제 어? 이해를 하게 되면서 그 정말 그 다들 굉장히 호기심에 차서 오늘은 어떤 시나리오가 나오고 어떤 이야기가 나오고 어떤 캐릭터가 어떻게 할 것인가 그러니까 우리 또 너무 그 그런 새로운 것들에 대해서 기대감이 있고 하나 둘씩 그거를 만들어 가면서 어떤 희열이랄까 그러니까 아무것도 모르는 상태에서 정말 날것 같은 어떤 것 이런 것을 접하게 되면서 어 정말 뭔가 새로운 영화를 만들고 있고 우리가 예상할 수 없는 이런 방법들로 갈지 간다는 그 자체가 어 사실 이 홍상수 감독하고 같이 작업하면서 만 제가 만난 새로운 어떤 영화 예, 만드는 방법이죠. 그래서 어, 저로서는 이제 어, 그 항상 작업을 제안을 해올 때마다 너무 그 새롭고 기대가 됩니다. So when I first um, tried this type of method, I was very nervous. I was thinking, is this okay to do it this way? And it was quite intimidating. But in the process of working together with director h a n I came to understand this process. And also, um, it really um, was intriguing in terms of curiosity um, about, okay, what will the story be today? What will the how will the characters develop today? What will um, the uh, script look like today? So, You are um, filled with very, you know, new expectations. Something that um, you've never experienced before. That in itself, I think, is a very big joy, uh, unexpected pleasure, and um, it's something that's completely a uh, raw blank sheet of paper. And um, so I think that uh, it's as if you're experiencing something new um, every day. And um, I think by uh, working together with director Hong. Um, I have been introduced to a new uh, type of filmmaking, and so I think that whenever he, you know, um, asks if I want to work on another film, I, I have very high, um, uh, high expectations because I know that something new is going to be experienced. Do Do you ever have a day where you're like, I got nothing. Everybody, go home. <laughs> no, because I told him that there's always something. You can uh, find this cover. Thank you. If you keep keep doing it, then maybe after usually around 30 minutes or one hour, something comes to you. But you have to keep smoking. 